Finding winning products for Shopify dropshipping can be pretty difficult. And I know firsthand because I made over $10 million online building my own e-commerce stores over the past four years. And in this video, I wanna do a live product reveal using one of my favorite product research methods so you can see the characteristics of a winning product and how I think about product selection so you can choose the right products for your own store. So we're here inside of Mania. For now, I just wanted to give you the lay of the land, show you how it works, what to press, where everything is. The first page you'll land on is the ads page. This is gonna be the main one that we'll use. The only other tab that we'll use later on is the products tab, but for now, let's just stick with ads. In here, you'll see a few different options, Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok. For this example, we're only going to be using Facebook to find winning products. So what I like to do is look for the most engaged ads. So filters by engagement, click on likes, and I'm gonna do a minimum of 1000 likes. This shows that the ad has been active for some time. It isn't completely fresh. You can always experiment with all of these settings, but another thing I like to turn on by default is, is dropshipping and click apply. This is gonna try and filter out any of the stores that aren't actually dropshipping. Uh, they're running ads for a product that isn't on an online store. Once you've set up the filters, we can start looking at products. And so all you need to do is click on them if you wanna have a closer look, and then you can watch the viral ad that that has performed well for a different brand. You can see here, this particular video ad had 26,000 likes, 25,000 comments, and over 8,000 shares. That's a lot of engagement for a product like this. You can also see the product description, the shop URL. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the online store that this ad is sending people to. You can also see some other cool stats about how long they've been running for and other details about engagement on the ad from likes, comments, shares, and then the different reaction emojis as well, what people are saying. You will find hundreds of different winning product ideas as you go through. So spend some time, have a look through this tab and see what you can find, save the best ads that you like the look of and create that group of at least 10 winning products and then shortlist from there. So looking through, we might find some cool products. We've got something like this, a drawing book for kids. Looks like a cool product, some great content here as well. Kids using it, smiling with their parents. Some great stuff there. So it's, I think, a training aid for writing and for drawing. So that's a great product there that we might wanna look at further. And then just keep scrolling through and see what else you can find. Product research shouldn't take 30 minutes, shouldn't take an hour. It should take you some time, one day, two days. For some people, it even takes a week to find the product that you wanna sell that you're ready to go with. And so don't worry if it is taking you some time, that is natural, that's how it should feel. Because if everybody could find a winning product in one minute, then everybody would be rich. This one here I thought was very, very interesting. So this is an inflatable thing that goes in the truck bed and it elevates. So then you can put a mattress there. You could sleep on it. You could use it to look out at the stars if you don't have the bit on top. So definitely lots of functionality there. So I think it's a really great video ad as well. Simple to the point, showing it being installed. With the video ad that I'll show you how to create for the product you choose, we're gonna go a bit more in depth than this. Instead of it just being a product demonstration, we're gonna show some benefits, show it solving the customer's problem, a bunch of different things. So we'll walk through that when we need to, but for now, I think it's a good ad. What really grabbed my attention is that the product price, what they're selling it for. So this is a $700 product, and I believe this is a US store, so that's 700 US. Very expensive product. What I then wanted to do was have a look on AliExpress and see if we could find this. Unfortunately, we couldn't. This was more of a proprietary product that they had developed. So unfortunately, we weren't able to find it. And in these cases where you've got this like really advanced product, it's got all this custom branding on it, looks like it was made just by this brand, it's gonna be difficult for our agent to source a product like this. Definitely worth trying if you run the numbers and you say that this is a product that I definitely wanna sell, then you can submit it for review and if it gets approved, you can chat with our agent and see if they can source it for you. Because not every product that isn't on AliExpress is a product they can't source because they do it privately. So does it solve a problem for the customer? The way they position it is ready to convert your vehicle into a mobile adventure rig. There is an angle there, I think, but it's not as compelling as some of these other products. And combined with the product price and how this looks like a bit more of an exclusive product that we might not be able to get our hands on, we're gonna put this one to the side for the time being. Now, have a look at this next one. This is a back shaver. And so if we go to the start of the video ad here, 
showing people shaving their very hairy backs uh, with this product and showing how it allows you to reach all the way back around. So does it solve a problem? Yes, because I can talk from experience, shaving your back without someone's help is a bit difficult. So this product definitely would make it easier. Is it going viral? Yes, we can see some great social proof here, likes, comments, shares. And if we click into it and see what people are saying about it, looks like a miracle device, great quality, fast delivery. <laughs> Come on now, stop effing about and get this bought fella. So there's some, some good comments in here. People talking about how it's working, commenting, tagging friends, which is great, shows that there is a viral component to it. So I like the look of this product. If we have a look on their website to see if there is room for improvement, we land on this and it doesn't come across as trustworthy. I think there's definitely room for improvement. We've got the buy now button shaking. We've got these extra payment icons, which is a classic dropshipping thing to have those that big on the product page. We've got all these extra benefits. It's just a very busy product page. So I definitely think some better imagery and making this more simple, which I'll show you how to do in the store build phase, I think yeah, definitely room for improvement. Looking to see if there's a solid markup. So they're selling it for $29.97 USD. So let's convert 30 USD to Aussie, just so we can compare it. So $46. Now, if we go in here, I found this one. It looks slightly different. So you can compare and find ones that maybe look a bit different, which might help you. Uh, but we want to look for one that's the same. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it on Ali, but we use this one as a guide. So that's $6. And so if we compare them, that's a 5X markup. So it definitely ticks that box uh, on a profit markup upside. So it definitely ticks that box. Is the product BS? Well, we've looked at the comments and these all look quite positive. We can also look at the reviews on the product page if there are any and see what people are saying about the product. These don't look like real reviews. <laughs> Got these stock photo images of these people. Those are definitely not real. So we're going to ignore those. These are the real reviews. Excellent product. Only regret is not finding it sooner. Very skeptical at first. Tried and loved it. No more waxing once a month for hundred bucks. Very easy to use. So it's got some solid reviews here. What I'm a bit hesitant of is that some of these reviews look like they were written by someone. Even the profile photos, there's no faces. They're all just random images. I'm a bit unsure about that. Makes me a bit skeptical about if these are real reviews or not. And I've got 667 reviews. It's a crazy number of reviews. So it definitely does tick those boxes. I'm not too sure on the BS side because with products like this, where it just looks so easy, like if they're using on a huge hairy back and just like, look how easy they make it look. And when I was reading the product page, it was talking about how you don't even need to use any moisture for it. It can just be a dry shave. And yeah, it just got me more and more skeptical about the efficacy of the product. So that's one, it does tick quite a few of the boxes. The BS test, I'm not sure if it does pass it. It is safe to advertise though on any ad platform. So that's one that we can have a think about. Now moving on to the next one. This is a really cool product. It's a weed puller, but it's not get down on the ground, pull out the weed. It's standing, allows people to remove weeds easily from their garden, their lawn, anywhere around the home without having to use any other tools. They can do it while standing. What I thought was good about this is that it definitely solves a problem. The main target demographic or people that are generally interested in gardening are slightly older. And with older people, they have issues with pain in their joints. And so having products that make it easier for them to garden and still be out in the garden, which a lot of people love to do, it's a huge positive. And it's a very compelling reason for someone to buy. It definitely ticks that box. Is it trending or going viral? Look, the number of likes and comments on this one compared to the other products we've been looking at hasn't been as many. So that's one thing. Is it really going viral? There is interest for the product, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily going viral. So that will probably disqualify it from what we're looking for. Let's keep going though. Let's see, is there any room for improvement? So I went through to their product page to have a look. Just at a glance, I definitely think there's room for improvement. Their add to cart button is not bold. It doesn't grab your attention. There's lots of conflicting images and colors being used everywhere. Lots of options to click things. There aren't many images in the product description to show the product solving the problem. So I definitely think there's huge room for improvement here. Let's look at the markup. So this one here is selling for 69. So let's have a look. And on AliExpress, we can get a more basic version for $17. So definitely satisfies the product markup. It's more than a 3X markup. So that is a positive. Does it pass the BS test? Let's have a look at the comments on the ad. 
One of the best gardening tools I have. I have this and it's a great product. Really impressed with mine. This looks great. Lots of positive reviews here. And good thing about these, one week ago, one day ago, five days ago, this is relevant right now. These are customers that are happy right now. So on some of these ads that you'll find on Minia, some of the comments will be from a while ago. So this is really reassuring to see that people like the product right now. So it ticks that box. And the last one, is this product safe to advertise? I'd say yes, it's a very simple product. It's nothing super crazy and it's definitely not against any of the community guidelines. So overall, a solid product. One thing that I wasn't too sure about is that the quality of the one that this guy is using in the video, and that's also available here, it just looks a lot more heavy duty than the one that we could potentially find here on AliExpress. That's not to say that our agent couldn't privately source a higher quality version, but it's just something to be wary of because if we're gonna try and sell this product for the same price as this one, and this one is clearly better or has these extra benefits, you're gonna have to do a really good job of marketing this one to sell it at the same price. So that's something that I wouldn't be too sure about. And then we're left with this final product. Now this one I really liked. So let's go through the criteria. First one, does it solve a problem? What I thought was very interesting about this product is that I saw a similar brand advertising this previously and they're talking about how hard water is actually affecting your skin and hair. And so most people don't realize that the water that they're showering in might actually have an effect on their health. It's something that I'd never thought about. I just assumed that the water coming from the shower head was fine. It's perfectly fine to go and shower in that. But what I discovered is that it can actually be a lot better and there can be a lot of hidden toxins or metals in that water that don't make it very healthy for you. And so a product like this brings people's attention to an everyday issue that they're facing. Most people don't even know this is an issue. So by advertising this product, you grab their attention by saying, do you shower or something along those lines? Because this product has very wide appeal. You then position the product as the easy solution to a problem they've probably accidentally been doing for years or their whole life. And so I really liked that angle for the product about how it does solve a problem, purifies the water, makes it softer. So there's hard water and soft water. And so it's better for your hair and skin. So I like those benefits and definitely is a problem solving product. Maybe not as problem solving as some of the other ones, but I really liked how you know people wouldn't generally be aware that it was an issue to begin with. So now that you introduce this product as the simple, easy solution to that, that they can use forever, huge. You know, it's a very big positive. Is the product trending or going viral right now? Yes, 33,000 likes, over 8,000 comments, 8,000 shares, looks very positive. Next, is there room for improvement? Having a look at the product page, I definitely think there is. Why? Because I think the images they've selected are not the best ones. They don't really show the product in use. That's what I wanna see. Customers wanna see the product solving the problem they're facing. And so if we just show the product on a white background, it's really missing the mark. And so even though it is high quality, Good quality imagery. This one here is a bit more of that natural style UGC. It's a step in the right direction, but the lighting is awful in this picture. This one here, it's okay, but still not the best. Definitely could be a lot better. What I do like about this, 1700 reviews. That's a lot of reviews for this product. The interesting thing about this is that they're marketing it with this whole spa experience or chakras about, you know, there's a very different angle that they're playing here. They're not playing the whole, this purifies the water, makes it better for your hair and skin. It's not very simple. They're appealing to this slightly different demographic. And so I think there's huge potential to take a product like this that has the same visual appeal. You look at it and you're like, well, of course the water's being purified because it's going through all this stuff, all these colors. And so it looks like it is being purified. And so I really like the angle that we could take this and go a bit more mass market with it or potentially even take it and go, specific and say, let's advertise it to parents who want the best for their kids. We can start looking at those micro demographics. Looking at the rest of the product page, there is some positives here. There's some things they've done well that we can definitely learn from, but overall, I think huge areas for improvement. Next, we need to check if it has a strong profit margin. This store is displaying in US dollars. So I'm just gonna convert it to Aussie. So $72 Australian, and I found it on AliExpress for 20. So that's above a 3X markup, which is definitely within the range, the healthy range that we want. So it ticks that box. Then we have to ask ourselves, does the product pass the bullshit test? Let's look on Facebook and look at some of the reviews. Shower head is amazing. <laughs> My fat ass thought those were beans. Filtering part, someone calling it out here. 
but the water pressure is amazing. So they're actually highlighting a different benefit for the product that maybe we could focus our advertising on. This is a must have. We have one for ages. It's amazing. Used one of these awesomeness, people tagging their friends saying you need this. So there are a few negative comments in here, but I'd say overall, the sentiment in this comment section is positive. People sharing a positive experience with it, tagging friends, saying how great it is and how much it's helped them. So I think it definitely passes that test. And is it safe to advertise on Facebook? Yes, it's not in a restricted category. It's a very simple product. So after looking through all of those options, hopefully you can understand how I think about product selection, the different factors that we're looking at. I'm running through that winning product criteria constantly. Every single product I look at, does it meet those points? And if it doesn't, we then move on to the next one. That's why you don't wanna rush product selection. So out of all the products that we've looked at in this section, I'm gonna go for this one here. I think this shower head is definitely, ticks a lot of the boxes from what I like in a product. And if this ad, this ad that is nine seconds long has got this much engagement and this many people sharing it, then something that's a bit more advanced that focuses on the benefits a little bit more, that has somebody talking in it or somebody using the product in the video, I think is gonna perform so much better. So definitely a lot of room for improvement. It ticks the other boxes as well, but that's sort of a deep dive into a few different product options.